the walls of the corridor that ended up here decorated a long wall painting. 350 priests and priestesses were uh, painted on that wall. Few fragments from the wall paintings were found there. The missing parts are completed and they are exhibited today in the Archaeological Museum of Heraklion. Here on the walls of the Palace of Knossos you can only see some copies, some reproductions from the original ones. For example, this one is a wall painting that depicts four men. Men were painted brown on the wall painting, as you see here, and men, women were painted white, probably because men were working out on the field and due to the sun their skin was darker. But both of them had long black curly hair, something that is typical for the inhabitants of the Mediterranean countries. As you see, they were of medium height, quite uh, muscular and elegant. Let's go closer and have a better look. So these are depictions of four priests. Priests who are transporting the return vessels to the altar. The return vessel is a special category of vessel which consisted of two openings, one on the top and the smaller one at the bottom. They were filled with some liquid, such as olive oil, wine, or even the blood from the sacrificed animals, and then they were transported up the altars, and there, through the smaller hole, the liquid was running out on it. Eh? That's why the hands of the priest, as you see there, are placed at the bottom of the uh, vessel, because they want to keep the liquid inside until they reach uh, the altars and do then the offering. And there is a big variety of such vessels in the archaeological museum. As you see, men used to wear also short skirts and at the front side of them is hanging something like a little weight. It was made of thread and stones and kept the men's skirt down when it was windy on the island. Mm -hmm. It probably had a practical use according to the uh, archaeologists. Okay. So there are many wall paintings in the archaeological museum that depict women and men. From the west entrance of the palace, unfortunately, only few materials are original. The bases of the two columns, which supported here uh, the west entrance of the palace, you can see behind us the second base. The green slabs on the floor are also original. The name of this material is green slate. And half of the first step is also original behind us. It is made of alabaster. Alabaster is nothing else than gypsum. And there is plenty of this material on the Cretan mountains. The white material that you see there is, again, gypsum, alabaster. It was transported here with the help of uh, slaves, animals, workmen, we can't be sure exactly with the help of which people the materials were brought here. And they were used for the erection of steps, walls, and other parts of the palace. You can also see behind that group, over there, the double horns. The double horn used to be the second most important sacred symbol of the Minoan religion, after the double axis. And imitations of horns, not the original ones from the animals, but imitations made of stone, were located on top of the walls, as you see here. And they decorated the palaces. So it was another symbol. A little part of these horns is only original. The biggest part is completed with the cement. Okay. You can also see here some jars. The jars were found in the storerooms of the palace, broken, not like this. Some pieces are original, eh? the darker pieces, and the brighter pieces have been completed by the archaeologists. All of them had wooden coverings, which are not preserved anymore. They were destroyed during the fires, and uh, they were used for the keeping of all the products, for the liquids, olive oil and wine, but also for the solids, dry herbs, dry pulses, dry fruits, cereals, everything was kept in the big jars. And you can see some more of them here on uh, the right side.